like burst him down, especially if King RD is nearby. Oh, I'm excited. This should be a really fun game. There's a lot of fun heroes here. No, it, it's going to be good. Uh, we'll see, because then there's the, the whispers of a, a second battle pass, right? And then there's going to be the follow up and who knows what it's going to look like. But... Well, there's part two, Still which is just the same battle pass, right? Oh, bloody nine top yeah. lane gets caught underneath the tower. That's going to be first blood for FCR. Nicely done. It's a very scary lane, man. The slow plus the silence into the prime. Oh, did you need to win a TI? This? Maybe. Dude, I was, uh, we didn't really talk too much about like the off lane. They ended up running Italiano Gangster on the three position, Marcy, and Zeus on the four. This was definitely not really what I expected, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Top lane, Stonebake, man, just find a kill, but King RD trying to bring down Stonebake. There's gonna be the root though, and they can stay right on top of him. Yeah, all right. He's okay. Double Bracer, though, protecting him. But RCY will actually also get his level 6 before suits and force the Void Spirit all the way back to base. Massive success. Yeah. Is he going to get that ward anytime soon? Meanwhile, top lane, King RD going to try and dive B9 here. Regrets that one as he ends up going down first. FCR will again find the trade, but that's a pretty big win for the top lane. No, punishes, gets Stonebank even closer to the level 6. And the funny thing about Troll Warlord is you don't really want to rotate out and make that trade too early. Really, only once that mid laner starts showing up in your lane, uh, you have to leave. But, oh yeah, it's very low. It does get a bottle refill, though. Kind support friend. Oh, they're fighting for this. <laughs> they actually have a sentry here on Crystal Maiden. I'm going to be surprised if he doesn't place it to try and just get rid of that. Wait a minute, he's going to get chain stunned out. Uh, they might get this kill. They do indeed. Zeus goes down. He just stuck around a little bit too long. Thought he was stronger than he was. No, just gets from building what Stonebank typically goes for. Bottom lane here in the river. A lot of fighting as FCR goes in, trying to chase Yarn down. Will be able to get that initial damage out, but Yarn's still alive and Rolling Thunder in from Destroyers. You know, try and find KJ. We'll bump him up onto the high ground, though, and all of this just to try and... Oh, he ends up... Not picking up the rune. A little bit of a mistake there from Destroyer. FCR does end up finishing off the kill there onto Yarn. Swashbuckle on four. They get the kill onto Seuss. So, in the end, all worth it. And now in comes Italiana Gangster. Presses Unleash and. Uh... Team. This is where that 10 minute card's going to be problematic. But wait, what's Italiano up to? Uh, that is a very good question. <laughs> He's going to go for uh, FCR. He does end up getting the kill, but King RD with the trade and Destroyer to her clean it up. One more auto attack. Ends up just using the shield crash. So, I mean, that's pretty okay. Yeah. I mean, you bring Italiano into the 1v2 and you basically win it and then just have the cleanup from your Pango there and your tower doesn't die. So now HFN, he will pretty freely just get it after the waves get pushed into him. But I still think Dogchimp are kind of out rotating you right now. And Wolf Team are really unable to get themselves very active. And of course, it comes down to the Void Spear and the Dazzle just not really been to be an initiator, as you always do on the Sven. So you have yet again another playmaker to make these moves while Stonebank is farming. That's why I think Stonebank goes for the Maelstrom, but we'll have to see if that's a punish. Ooh, nice root there onto the Primal Beast. Destroyer with the Rolling Thunder as well, but is there anyone here that can stop them? It's going to be Destroyer chasing after Dazzle, and they will commit that Freezing Field and a ton of damage. Oh my gosh, he's got the Lance of Pursuit. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That'll that'll kill almost any support right now. Italiano Gangster looking for more. Let's see if he can get his hands on to Seuss, but won't be able to. And now finally, after a lot of time, it might be able to take down this mid tower. Yeah, there's too many heroes. Don't have Dude, B9 is just on the money with these D wards. This is ridiculous. King RD goes for the Pulverize, trying to get the D ward himself. He will be able to, but it's going to cost them the, the Primal Beast slide. He's going to turn out with the BKB. There's going to be... A nice shallow grave to keep him alive, but Destroyer is chasing. He's gonna look for KJ here on the Dazzle. Italiano Gangster will help clean him up, and Destroyer, he did manage to find the Primal Beast. Swashbuckle will do it, maybe. They get the kill with the Zeus. Nice stun from the Techie. He's able to find one, but can they find more? Marcy disarmed for the moment, but there's gonna be the ult from the Troll Warren. They've just beat down HFN. A four for one trade in the mid lane, and maybe a tier two tower, and just, actually, they could just go Roche, huh? Yeah, and that's what they absolutely should do. They didn't use Stonebank BKB. They did use his ultimate, but with Sidekick, this is why the Troll Warlord feels so nice. You just immediately go in, take that next objective, 
and there is no sadder situation for HFN. That is the most depressing way you're spent, but that's why I think slotting onto this Marcy feels so nice. Just ends up balancing out the lineup and smoke pop. Now they see oh everything. Oh my gosh, SCR's in, SCR's in for sure, but the BKBs come through and without being able to get this Thunder God's Wrath off, a lot of damage is gonna be missing. But Destroyer goes in anyway. Can Italiano Gangster help him? He has no ult, he has a sidekick, but yeah, Pango just goes down right away. And B9's got no mana to work with. They've still got the Shallow Grave to protect this techies. Looks like he'll eventually tick on down, but I mean, that's a rough trade in the mid lane just for a techies. You know, you pop the Unleash, you lose two. Just got a little bit too close with the Pango. And that kills your push a little bit. You did get that bottom tier two though, because don't put the Void Spirit off guard, but he is still Void Spirit. I mean, maybe B9 can get in range for the root, and he does, but he's got a Yules and one more Astral Step available. So he's going to be fine up onto the high ground, though. Stonebanks looking for KJ, and with the help of Destroyer, this will be a dead dazzle. There's the root. You know it's coming eventually. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, it's going to be the TP out there from the Void Spirit, so he's going to survive. Thunder God's Wrath, though, reveals FCR. He's like, oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Oh boy, that's sad. That's unfortunate. But they're not done yet. They're still Wait. looking for King RD and King RD. He pings, he gets so pinged instantly. Here. He's like, get out, brother. Mid lane suits, trying to do some damage onto the stone bank. He's got the Aegis though. In 20, 30 seconds, it was going to expire, and B9's here on the backside. Ready to offer some assistance. Stone Bank got that BKB, turns it on. The roots, of course, piercing BKB now. Primal Beast. All right, that's a good way to waste it. Thunder, I'm, oh, they just burst down in with the God Strength and now Troll Warlord in some trouble. Put Rolling Thunder though from Destroyer doing some work. BKB from HFN, he makes it up onto the high ground. Atalano Gangster can't really find his target, but HFN's BKB still good for just another second. Can they get Stone Bank out? He ends up dying and another Shallow Grave here dropped onto the Sven. This time Atalano Gangster with his own BKB trying to hold his ground. They finally take down the Sven. FCR will get on top of this Pangolier, but Tidal Gangster doing some work. Wait a minute, is Destroyer out? Okay, just barely. Suits unable to get on top of him, but just a sliver of HP here on King RD. He needs help here on Tidal Gangster. The Unleashed, never mind, it's still running. It's brand new. He's gonna take these targets one by one. He's gotta blink up in one second. Will he continue the chase? As the bottom line is definitely brought up a lot from Dog Champ, but oh, mid. Mid lane, they get the troll for the BKB instantly to try and keep himself alive. Suits. May be in some trouble here. He has no spells left to get out of this one, so Shallow Grave will buy him a little bit of time. There's the Dissimilate. Whoa, he goes north. All right, he's out. Man, KJ has been owning it with the Shallow Graves this game. No, he's keeping his team in the game. There is a great high ground ward here, though, so we oh, might lose oh, KJ. Oh, but Tiana Gangster found him, yeah. yeah. With that Unleash. He's still got his BKB available. He might stay here. Yeah, he just kills Suits. He did not expect the BKB. And yeah, he's gonna get the Dispose there to cancel that Onslaught. And with the rest of the team coming, they're gonna continue the chase. BKB out from King RD. HFN, he's realizing he doesn't think he can fight this anymore. The Dispose pulls him right back in. You've got Yarn here on the Zeus just to kite this guy out, but they're afraid to dive anymore. I think now that Techies is here. This one on the Techies, so you do have you know, some more of those to work with. And Techies with Thera Blade is terrifying, right? If you don't have any sort of BKB, or Dispel or anything to get you out of the burst, you're in trouble. Time to Gangster goes in, just pops the BKB on top of HFN. He's like, I'll fight you, man. I do not care. King RD forced to pop his own, tries to run up, it gets bashed. Oh no, and now the Root's through. Gonna try and turn around with the Pulverize, but it's not enough. And Destroyer, he zoned out the whole rest of the team. Thunder God's Wrath finishes off KJ. Dissimulates away, but it's out of Gangster with a perfect prediction. And FCR goes in, they've got the Ethereal Blades, they're trying to do what damage they can, but they get themselves another kill. Three for zero. Sick plays from Dog Champ all around. No, they just have too much network, they have too many items. They've got double basher, almost triple basher. Oh, and still looking to cut those waves mid, but during all this, Sven is being hunted right now. Italiano yeah. Gangster, is he just gonna go for the solo kill? Oh, Absolutely. Oh no. That is real rough. Yeah, pop the Mask of Madness at the worst possible time. You pop mom, you get jumped, he pings out the ward, but it's still too late, and you're dead for 80 seconds. Now your outer towers 
sure you're gonna be able to maybe hold on to top for a little bit longer because the void spirit's already making moves for those creep waves but i feel like this is where doc champ do you want to just go up high ground right now and force the void spirit back i feel like that's the move destroyer just jumping on in he's like all right i'll find someone gets on top of kj and honestly rolls away swashbuckle oh the thimbus okay i thought for no i thought there was no chance kj goes down here but sick coordination from dog champ they get themselves a really important kill stone bank's just gonna go ahead and pop that rampage try and give himself that bonus status resistance to work with but i guess ranged is attack speed huh never mind unless he swapped i don't quite remember it's a weird spell. Town of Gangster goes in, gets the grab there onto the techies. He's going to go ahead and turn his attention onto the Primal Beast, and they do just get the kill right away onto FCR. Plenty of cleave damage coming out from this team. They'll finish up the last barracks in this mid lane. Octarine Core, Yarn still being as rich as he is, you're just never finding the Zeus because he's not there. He's Dude, just B9 has a BKB. using his ulti. Yeah, they've got everything. BKB 4 staff, now they he just the needs the shard ground. now. Yeah, they do have the high ground. You are right. The smoke's popping in the mid lane. Stonebank's going to be able to find FCR here, and he just gets blown up to start this one. And the question is, can they get more? Oh, B9 able to force that away. They actually force oh, the ult no. out of HFN, but that's it. Troll Warlord goes in, just destroying that Sven, and we might see the GG come out. And there it is. Yeah, HFN calls it. He knows this one is over. Oh, man, HFN. You get your Medusa banned out in the first phase, and then this is your follow-up game. I mean, it's just did not look good. And of course, the troll world, it's a perfect pick from Dog Champ. They yeah. know exactly what they need to do, and they get the perfect hero for Stone Bank. But then also Wolf Team just dropped the ball, I think, especially. Initially, I was super skeptical. I was like, eh, it looks like he's just Nyx Assassin, like in the in the cover art for it. But this thing turned out to be way cooler. No, I liked it a lot. And you have uh did you happen to see the heroes on bottom lane and who's playing what? Yeah, it's FC. Yeah, they did the thing. They swapped it up. FCR Visage, the man himself. I mean, he absolutely owned the last time he played this hero, so I'm expecting great things from him. The m amount of two, three person stuns that he's able to manage with his birds, the man is definitely a beast. Top lane. Man, I knew this was coming eventually. They're just playing so aggressive up here. And honestly, Yarn's been playing on low HP for a while, but. And just to get picked off there in the lane for Wolf Team. He's really just not able oh, to. Oh, he's going to turn it around. HFN, HFN oh, this nice. on this Terra Blade. Should be able to chase this down with ease. Couple more auto attacks. Gets the reflection. KJ gets another kill under his belt. Next time, don't be afraid to leave your friends to die. They're just playing so well. There's just not really an issue. Oh! Okay. It still clips KJ, but survives a pretty decent time mid. And he's sitting at the top of the last hits. He's doing a great job versus suits, and he's looking for that Midas. And with three points up in Exhort, 340 damage with the Sunstrike, he's going to be looking for those opportunities. It's going to be a bottle refill on the mid lane. Uh, why does he have King Artie's raindrops? That's definitely a mistake. Well, Marcy goes down bottom. Meanwhile, Destroyer getting dove in the mid lane. Suits will have to, you know, walk away. Did you notice that Suits has got... He's got yeah, King he's got, Artie's raindrops. He's got two. And did it... Well, okay, it's on cooldown right now. Oh, something weird is happening. I think he realized. He's like, those are Marcy's. I think Marcy, like, gave him his when on she the TP'd mid. Refill. Yeah, on the bottom. He won't be able to get a kill, but a little bit of chip damage back their way. Meanwhile, bottom, we're going to see Tramp Protector get surrounded here by FCR. And, of course, this Marcy. Stone Bank doesn't have... Oh, he whiffs the hook. That would have been a for sure kill onto the Visage. He's still gonna be able to clean it up. If he can play this level six, he needs to get the kill onto Marcy to do it, but he's not gonna be able to. Oh no. Okay. Oh, Sunstrike? Oh, okay, this oh. guy's good. RCY, baby, but yeah. Unfortunately, this is out on the kill, but that makes it feel just a little bit easier. And you still got the flesh sheep on the Visage, you know? Could be worse. Mm -hmm. Even got some of that AoE gold or XP after the fact, but RCY is happy. Midas done. Kill uh, to his name. Top lane? Do they get him? Oh, yeah. Oh, they, he survives. The meta oh, into the Sunder. All right, HFN, he's a gamer. Yarin's got to get out of here. Sunstrike way off the mark, but B9 even rotating in as well. You oh, cannot my, uh, fight into this Terra Blade. Yarin, though, might be able to. Oh, he's got the raindrops. 
He's gonna go ahead and pull Yarn back in, and just a couple of auto attacks here from King RD. Beautiful body blocks. There's gonna be the Frostbite, and he's gonna make it out. Sick plays from HF Ports. Like, Yarn's only level four, B9, still not even close to level, or eh, he's almost a level six, but the big deal, this rotation, Nets do the mid tier one tower. First tower of the game. Bottom lane, we're gonna see Stone Bank get got on. He does have the dismember to work with, but is just too far away. Hook will end up just pulling B9 back out of safety, but Seuss Ooh, is here. He's looking for his target. They can find Stone Bank bottom. There it is. He's gonna go ahead and try and keep himself alive, but one more auto attack there from Seuss will do it. B9 still on the run. Destroyer making his way here, as well as Yaren. If they can find any of these targets, it would be pretty nice. Three heroes. There's gonna be the Frostbite into the Sunstrike. Visage does go down. Nicely done there. Now looking for a nice Deafening Blast onto two. King RD, though, with this Unleash doing a lot of damage. Destroyer, I don't, can, can he finish him off? The Bird Drop doing work, but these Forged Spirits burning a lot of armor. And now on over to the Puck. You can't stick around. This guy does a ton. Oh, it's just too much right click damage. It's sad that the primal beast. B9 nearby as well. The overgrowth able to just completely stall this initiation. They're gonna go for it anyway. Can they actually keep him alive? No way. That those water kiss is just doing way too much. Alright. Instantly cancel there on the freezing field. Gonna keep suits alive as they turn around onto Yarn, but the jump in from a tie on a gangster will be able to find the kill. Uh, you gotta save him with the pulverize, but instead. He's able to get the trade. King RD finds that last little bit there onto that crystal main. So a two for two in the mid lane, support in mid. Top tower is under and Stone Bank gets a top tier one, but he's in trouble now. Oh, yeah, the cookie connects. There's no uh, way to cancel the dismember though. So he's gonna be able to just turn this damage into the Terra Blade, but with meta, Vanguard and that uh, ult is not, or, I mean, maybe the Flesh Heap will be enough after the slow. Nah, no, KJ there snipes him. Nah, max level scatter blast, just too much damage. Now staying up here though, they know that your tier one is gone. This is a little bit crazy here in HFN. He's got the Sunder, but with the Invoker, I feel like there's no way you get out of here. This is just a fight for your life. Yeah, they're gonna sacrifice Yaren for this kill. He does have Sunder, but there is no chance of that one getting off thanks to the cold snap. Double back for a BKB, but I feel like as one position Pudge, you've gotta get a decently timed Ags, and it's gonna be a bit before he gets there. That's a hasted oh, puck. Fighting. Ooh, yeah. Hook off the mark. They jump in to get the stun onto two. The pullback as well. And Pudge, he can't dismember anything. The bird's just sitting in the air, and that's it. They take him down with ease. Destroyer, the rotation on in. Gets the cold snap onto the Mars. V9 goes down as well. A tie on a gangster with a really nice charge in onto the other side. But again, they don't have the follow up damage. King RD just surviving through it all. Four points in the sidekick. This is just way too much damage. For, and this is a support Marcy. Yeah, just survives through it all. That's also the Wraith Pack time where FCR is just taking 30% of everybody's damage there. It's not like you're gonna have BKBs 15 minutes into the game because BKBs are starting to get accomplished here from Dog Champ. More of their team fight prowess is maybe gonna peek in through, but that's where once they do have these items, they can't really afford to lose a team fight after the fact. As Yarin breaks the entire smoke, but might just go down, gets coiled. Yeah, burden too. Great cookie. Yeah, that was a really sick play. I mean, granted, he does tank the gank because the, otherwise the return is they kill the invoker, so. Either way, they have the uh, Aghanim Scepter finished up on the Pudge. Finally, 19 minutes in the game. That is got to be one of the slower Aghanims that we've seen on a safe lane Pudge. And he doesn't even have phase boot. It is just a Vanguard. Oh, and now up top. They They're just gonna the dive him. Cookie on over. Oh. The invoker just absolutely bursted apart. A time a gangster pops his BKB. Or it actually doesn't pop his BKB. He's still got everything available. They do trade at least for the Snapfire. But I mean, Destroyer has just been constantly ran at. He does have his BKB and about five, six hundred gold. He just decided to kind of stall up everybody else and wait for this BKB. Now it's time, but we're still not seeing that revenge play come out yet. And suits. The Madman doesn't really care. He does care if he dies, but I think this is absolutely fine. There's no overgrowth for B9 to play with, and they're looking at HFN a little bit, but BKB comes out. They manage to catch the Puck. Pulverize in a Sunstrike. That is enough damage. And they'll just clean up that Wraith Pack totem. The question is, do Wolf Team want to try and take this fight to them? Once again, they do. They go for that... I mean, nice initiation out of the tree protector, but they grab the Marcy in exchange, a big freezing field to kind of zone off the backside. And they're gonna buy back here on this uh -oh. tree protector. HFN is in deep. 
No Sunder, no Aegis now, and that is a rough one. Dismember is available on Stonebake. He's just got to make sure to not lose it. He'll be able to clean up HFN, a big kill. Now, can Pudge get on top of these other heroes? Tornado misses off the marker from FCR. They will not be able to close the game beyond Stonebank because that is the next big thing. He needs to get this BKB. And then alongside that BKB, you pretty much have quad BKB as well. They're looking for the play mid and, well, needs help, but... He gets so the flesh damage. heap off. He might be able to survive a lot of this damage. The big overgrowth, but can he actually get the dismember target? He needs to find something hook way off the mark. They end up diving a little bit too far. They trade for the Marcy, but FCR, his familiars are caught in the freezing field and they will go down. Yeah, I mean, this Pudge, man, he just he's just getting absolutely owned by this Visage every single time. All right, on the side of Wolf Team, where are we at? We see Terrorblade has gone for the Hurricane Pike, giving himself a little bit of mobility. Sooth, bottom lane, oh, managed to find Pudge, and Stonebank is dead. Absolutely nothing in the tank for him. He's just so far forward, too. Oh, Creep yeah. wave at the tower. Over. I mean, they get Marcy mid, destroy her with the solo kill, and that is nice, but you gotta worry your base is under siege. They managed to take down the Crystal Maiden. She has no buyback, and Fortification was used as well. Oh, and now what? You can't exactly just throw your Meteor out. You're just going to end up losing in, of the damage that you need in the fight. I think, honestly, with the CM going down, I don't think there should be any contest here. They're just gonna have to sit here and look at each other and let this happen. Tornado, EMP, HFM with the four staffs, giving him the space he needs. Throwing some rocks, but yeah, there it is. Melee barracks gonna fall inevitably, and Wolf Team with a huge lead now, 25. Roche is gonna happen. This is our punishment, and well, maybe they get a kill on the KJ. Kind of crazy on the Snapfire, but well, this is I still mean, just. It oh. doesn't look like a title. Gangsters get shredded by the side of Terrorblade and FCR as the BKBs do come out from Yarn, trying to keep themselves alive. It's gonna be a hook that trades there onto. King RD, but again, that's just a support. Your core. I mean, Yarn just getting ran down here as well. It's just, this Visage is destroying them. He's got a, an AC completed now too. No, oh yeah, he's absolutely massive. And you don't have Glyph for another minute here. So this is all free damage. Wraith that gets put down yet again. And then suddenly you really just can't do very much here. It is all just RCY Invoker kind of back against the wall here. Doesn't man to dodge the MP, so maybe a little bit more strap for his mana, but still, the push is inevitable. Nice hook, but... He just turns it on with a BKB, and they've managed to get on top of Destroyer. Stonebank looking for his target. Gets the Dismember out onto the Visage, but he just gets the Gravekeeper's Cloak off instead, and they will just destroy Stonebank. In comes the tie on a Gangster. He's gonna be able to get that Pulverize. Does manage to find the kill there onto the Terrorblade, but again, that's just the Aegis. Buyback on Stonebank. They've got to get themselves the big kill. They have to kill this Terrorblade, but HFN does not care about this hook. Just turns it around on them instead. He's trying to play around this damage. Meatball will connect. Terrorblade gets the Sunder off, though. Italian on a Gangster in so much trouble. He's going to take on down. Dismember is going to find King RD, but it's just costing you way too much for this defense as FCR is just working on getting Megas in the mid lane and another Sunder to try and top off this terribly as he goes to farm up some more in the jungle and that is it mega secured for wolf team they tap out the gg is there and they tie up the series one to one yeah and i do like that they just gg out they just know that yeah it's kind of over at this point we got megas in the rest of the lineup it is a four protect one versus doom it's why they go for it for italiano we'll have to see if that ends up panning out or if they can defend HFN long enough, High Ground Warren gets the punish. Yeah, and they have no uh, sentry on the Untying here to, to basically deward that. Like, he knows where the ward is, but can't do anything about it now. No, it's going to take a lot longer. And you're not getting control of that small camp back. So with this wave all the way far forward, even if King RD is getting run at constantly, he's still getting XP very safely. But first blood, looks like it's going to be the other side. Yep, Yarn in the top lane. One more auto attack there from HFN, and they've got it. K2... And it looks like he might be able to. He is getting pretty much every CS he wants. Meanwhile, top lane, Yarn getting ran down again here by KJ, trying to hide in the trees. Telekinesis, well, oh, he could have thrown him to the low ground. Is going to get a little bit, he's going to pay for that one. Yeah, ends up dying for it. A little bit of a greedy play there. No, he needed the Omni to get just a little bit closer, but then just kind of throws his life away. And 
gives KJ even more XP and XP where he has purposefully been giving a rotation in from the techie, so another bottle refill. Oh, just clean stuff. Top Boys lane. Here. They're gonna yeah. try and get aggressive here, but KJ might get punished. Three points in that Scorched Earth is gonna be able to burn him down and Yarn into the trees. They might get the Luna here. Infernal Blade in one. He does have a Fade Bolt as well. Can they actually find the kill though? It doesn't look like it. He will survive. And he will break the smoke. He sees them, has level three Tombstone as well. I think this one as they all rotate on in the silence is there four heroes will show up fcr actually taking a lot of damage but nice uh, purification there a little bit to keep him alive out of the void spirit caught by the leash he's dead and weaver does have the time lapse to work with but does not have any more damage really and they get themselves a really big kill actually just kind of a nice bait onto that oh, wait a stone bank <sighs> he's living on the edge that was a very big, that was a very close ledge. Progressively, look at all of these sentries that are just blocking all these camps in the dire jungle. They have a nice ward here to see the triangle or the, like the tri camp as well. Like they just do not want HFN to farm. And you were talking about this, they need to apply pressure to her now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's so the mid, pressure, but... Luna. Does get saved though, thanks to KJ. But the rotation from B9, a very nice tombstone, but it gets instantly destroyed as all of them turn around and of course, King RD there with the Unleashed does the work. They get the Weaver as well as Stonebank decide to show up. No, just way too greedy. And I like that they are trying to get the Weaver involved in those first 15 minutes, just with how strong his spells are. But you can't really afford to just lose everything so quickly on the outset of that fight. And now the pressure's back on the U, and you failed your jump onto the Luna. Just Stone and the Flesh Golem. And for B9, that's going to be on cooldown for a long time. And he finally does figure out where this enemy ward and sentry was. Is they were just they're playing a little bit too weird around here. Like, how do they have vision? You know. Oh, and he does see that ward get scouted as well. B9 on the run into the trees. I can't imagine he's getting out of this one. Zero percent chance. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna get both of these D wards now, actually. I'm pretty nice. I think this, but at this point, you know, it just feels like they're not doing a whole lot of gaming right now. Oh, Stone Bank. He got the Easy silence the on him. There's gonna be this the time lapse the back the other way. FCR. If he gets hit here, he will be slowed down just a little bit too much. They get destroyer though on the other side of the map, and I mean, cool, you got the techies. It costs you a ton though. It's bringing all four heroes plus you lose your void spirit again. Oh, and this is very unfortunate. This is where if, okay. Techies for Void Spirit, that's always bad, but Stonebank just shows back up bottom, dies to really not that much, but very importantly, if they killed the Techies and then got every single D ward down bottom, then that might've been more worth it. But instead, the way Dogchimp can kick him out of here is where we need this Blink Dagger on the Doom yesterday. Italiano just needs to find the farm and then we can actually initiate. He does mid. have a BKB. Well, they are gonna find the Puck here, but oh, no. the Coil snaps. Oh, no way. Puck actually gets out of this one, does he? He gets the Blink, Suits is free. They blow so much here on the side of Dog Champ, and they get absolutely nothing. And they're gonna find Italiano Gangster as well. He just gets jumped right back in just holds the bkb for a little bit too long thinking he doesn't need to drop it and they lose two plus the tombstone on over to hfn and he just gets further and further ahead and they're just gonna go right for roche yeah and even though they don't have a vlads the flies will definitely make it easier they've got sidekick they pop him uh, aegis not for three more or has aegis for three more minutes jump in king rd he finds rubik pulls him right back into the luna and yarn just goes down right away they end up dooming up oh, the marcy no. Not the best target as the Luna is just getting free reign on this fight. They take down the Weaver, doesn't even get the opportunity to time lapse that one, and now Undying in trouble as well. This might be a quick one. HFN will get pulled into the towers, and that will burn his Aegis. But Marcy is still alive, and she's got a BKB. Oh, and HFN no. will start to cleave down these towers. That fort does come through. The flak doing some work. B9 pops that flesh goal. They do manage to catch Zeus, but there's going to be the eclipse. Can he do the damage all by himself here on HF? And it turns out he can. And now gets the Manta to get away. Does get telekinesis back in. Stolen eclipse here. Very cheeky play from Yarin, but 
ends up dying anyway. The flag is just owning the side of uh, Wolf Team, but they get out anyway. KJ with the save there. The fight opened it up, then maybe we get to see a full team fight because we have not seen a full team fight as oh, okay. They suits. do find suits. The silence. The double silence. It's oh. it's a lot, but he just drops the coil. And he is out. And instead, he might just turn it around. He's thinking of dishing the damage. His HFN TP's in. We're going to see, of course, Omni joining the fray. Yarn's up onto the high ground, but an orb will be there to help secure the kill. And HFN down to the low ground. The Hurricane Pike to give him some space. But the Destroyer has to jump away. And the next tower in their sights is this Tier 2 bottom. And I don't know if Wolf Team is going to stop this aggression. But... It almost might be time to switch targets. A BKB Luna doesn't sound as fearsome as this puck just running wild all over you again. Well, they, they will find the Luna. Oh, no, it is real. Gets the Eclipse out of it as he goes to Hurricane Pike himself away. Yeah, HFN with a sorry, my bad, guys. Uh, that being said, they actually jump in. They find the Undying, and Seuss managing to chase down Yarn on the backside. He gets him, but he's in trouble. He's taunted off. He doesn't have the Doom available. And Seuss saved by this Omni Knight, able to survive. Three heroes are dead. And now Diana Gangster on the run. No chance of survival as they get themselves four for nil. Whoa. That's it. They just GG'd out. They're done. That is surprising. Wow. That was a fast GG out. No, and it, when you're getting eliminated, I mean, that's it. That's Dog Chimp out of the tournament. That is very rare. Usually you fight to the last and bitter end, but 